Akradha, Wikipedia article audio. Akradha literally means free from anger. It is considered an important virtue in Indian philosophy. Akradha is a fusion word a and kradha, or without anger. A related word is akrata, which also means absence of anger. Etymology Discussion Akradha is considered a virtue and desirable ethical value in Hinduism. When there is cause of getting angry but even then there is absence of anger, it is non-anger or akradha. Absence of anger means being calm even when insulted, rebuked, or despite great provocation. Akradha does not mean absence of causes of anger, it means not getting angry and keeping an even, calm temper despite the circumstances. Kradha is excessive mental turmoil on account of the obstacles in the gratification of some desire, it is manifestation of the quality of tamas an undesirable psychological state. The opposite of kradha is akradha, and this is a productive, positive, and constructive state. Bach states that akradha is necessary to any process of peace. Peace and happiness is a state of contentment, where there is absence of spite or envy, absence of anger, and absence of violence. Dharma relies on akradha because it creates an environment of serenity, a rational principle of life, and because it is a moral virtue inspired by love. According to Vedic sages, when work becomes akin to a yajna, the effect of that work is transformed into a purva, that is, it becomes something unique, unprecedented, and empowering. In contrast, anger clouds reason, which results in the loss of discrimination between right and wrong and virtue and vice. When the discriminating faculty is ruined, the person loses self-identity and the inner good perishes. With freedom from anger, a person reaches an apurva state. Narada Parivrajaka Upanishad states the nature of akradha for a person who seeks self-knowledge and liberation as follows. Literature All cruel words should be endured. None should be treated with disrespect. No anger should be directed in turn towards one who is angry. Only soft words should be spoken, even when violently pulled by another. Akradha, states Manaksam, is related to the concept Sahaya in the Upanishads. Sahaya means depending on the context, to bear, endure, suffer, and put up with. The quality to Sahaya is considered an ethical value in Hinduism, not out of weakness to react, but for the cause of the ultimate truth. It is the attribute by which a person willingly bears negative cognitive inputs in order to win over the opponent or whatever is offensive, in the pursuit of holding on to truth in order to achieve oneness with Brahman, the ultimate truth. This endurance, this strive to overcome the adversaries, through Akradha and Ahimsa, is recommended as the constructive way in one's pursuit of truth. The Upanishads The Hindu epic Mahabharata repeatedly emphasizes the virtue of Akradha. For example, in Adi Parva, it states, If wronged, you should not wrong in return. One's anger, if not subdued, burns one's own self, if subdued, it procures the virtues of the doers of good acts. You should never give pain to others by cruel words. Never defeat your enemies by despicable means. Never utter sinful and burning words as may give pain to others. In Vana Parva, the Mahabharata states, The Epics Anger is in this world, the root of the destruction of mankind. The angry man commits a sin, the angry man murders his preceptor, 
the angry man insults with harsh words. The angry man cannot distinguish what should be and should not be said by him, there is nothing which cannot be said or done by an angry man. From anger, a man may kill one who should not be killed and adore one that should be slain, an angry man may even dispatch his own self to the abode of Yama. Beholding these evils, anger must be conquered. Dharma Sastra In Shanti Parva, the Mahabharata states, Shaivism That yogin who is freed from attachment and pride, who transcends all pairs of opposites such as pleasure and pain, who never gives way to wrath or hate, who never speaks an untruth, who though slandered or struck still shows friendship for the slanderer or the striker, who never thinks of doing ill to others, who restrains these three, viz. speech, acts, and mind, and who behaves uniformly towards all creatures, succeeds in approaching Brahman. The Bhagavad Gita, in the Mahabharata, gives a list of 26 divine attributes beginning with Abhayam and Sattva Sansadhi, ending with Adroha and Nadamanada. Universalism Akradha is one of the 26 divine attributes a person can have, states Bhagavad Gita. Manu has listed Akradha among the ten primary virtues. The Apastam had Harme Sutra rules that a student be not given to anger, and that a householder is required to abstain from anger and abstain from action or words that would provoke someone else to anger. The Bodhayanad Harme Sutra requires a householder never to be angry, and the Gautam Dharma Sutra advises that he must not feel angry. The Vashis Thad Harme Sutra averse that refraining from anger is a virtue like truthfulness, charity among others. Manu mentions ten Dharma Lakshanas, Akradha is one of these Lakshana. The other nine are Dridi, Keshama, Dhamma, Astya, Shaucham, Indriyaigraha, Dai, Vidya, and Satyam. The Shaivit doctrine considers four yamas for the Pashupata ascetic who smears on his body Basam. The four yamas are non injury, celibacy, truthfulness, and non stealing. The nyamas consist of non irritability, attendance on the teachers, purity lightness of diet and carefulness. Akradha is a virtue. Hinduism and Buddhism both suggest ten freedoms needed for good life. These are Ahimsa, Astya, Aparigraha, Amritava, and Arogya, Akradha, Jnana or Vidya, Pravrti, Abhaya, Indrati.